Welcome. All right, so what I have is negative 5 pi over 12. And what I want to do is sketch this in standard position. So the first thing we need to remember is where is standard position to start with? Well, remember, we're going to have an initial side and a terminal side. So our initial side is going to be right here. And then we're going to rotate this. However, we notice it's a negative. So remember, in standard position, here's going to be positive direction. And there's going to be the negative direction. So I'm going to rotate my angle in the negative direction. Now the tough thing is we're going to be negative 5 pi over 12. And usually, we don't really break up our uh, circle into 12s, but we still can. So to be able to do that, to represent the 12s, remember, halfway around the circle represents pi. right? And as you can see, our angle is in terms of pi. Then we have negative 5 twelfths. So therefore, just like when you're learning fractions and you take a candy bar and you cut it into how many different pieces, we have half of this circle, or half of this you know, um, angle, needs to be broken up into twelfths. So I'm going to kind of forget about my y-axis here. And I'm going to break it up into thirds. Then I'll break it up into sixths. Then I'll break it up into twelfths. And I know not everything is perfectly even. But you can see that I had now I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So I have 12 parts. And we're only going to be taking an angle, rotating it to 5 of those 12 parts. So I go negative 1 pi over 12, 2 pi over 12, 3 pi over 12, 4 pi over 12, 5 pi over 12. So our angle is going to be right there. And then I can kind of get rid of all the rest of this. this is, I just use this to kind of aid. And then I can redraw my y-axis. And then you can see it's just going to be rotation of my initial side rotating down to my terminal side. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you sketch an angle in standard position when it is negative out of 12. Thanks.